my channel in today's video it is the first day of vlogmas and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what I'm doing for vlogmas before this video starts so for vlogmas this year I'm going to do 12 days of vlogmas or 12 days of Christmas basically what I'm gonna do is post every single other day of the week not including weekend so since today is December 1st which happy December 1st by the way I'm going to post this Friday and then start up again on Monday this will be like my first vlogmas and then Monday will be my second and then I'll post Wednesday and Friday so it's every other day starting on Friday of the week if that makes sense and it will lead up to 12 days of vlogmas I really do want to do vlogmas full out one year but with my corporate job it's just a little hard this year and I'm going to get really overwhelmed filming the same day and editing while also working my corporate job because I work 9 to 5 or 8 to 4 and then I'm gonna have no time to actually post so this is just like an easier way for me to do it but I feel like it's still a little cool thing to do I am also going to post some pre-filmed videos like New Year's and stuff like that which may be included in this series just so some of it is pre-filmed just so you guys know. Let's jump into this video. I am so excited. I'm actually filming this the day before vlogmas starts and I'm so excited because I love the way the video turned out. Let's jump back to when I picked up my Christmas tree. I am eating a bagel right now and I'm by my boyfriend's house. We are going to a Christmas tree farm today to pick out a Christmas tree. I actually have never had one before, like a real Christmas tree, so I'm really excited. So I figured I would vlog it just because it's gonna be a very cute and fun Christmas fun filled day and I wanted to take you guys along with me. This bagel is so good. I don't eat bagels often and I like remember that one exists every like three months. I know that's crazy because I live in New Jersey and New Jersey bagels are so good, but whenever I have one, it just, it's the spot. But I woke up kind of late today. It's 11 a.m. and I usually always wake up before 9. I woke up at 10 30 so we slept in a little which is honestly good. It's Saturday and I have to go back to work on Monday so I have another day to kind of like regroup from the holidays. But right now I'm just going to finish my beagle and then we are going to start getting ready. I think I'm just going to take my hair out and just wear like a cute cozy outfit. I'm not really sure yet. And if anyone is going to ask me why I'm eating a plain bagel with no butter, no cream cheese, sometimes I just like it like that, okay? And it's still really Good. My hair looks so crazy right now, but I have to quickly do my makeup before we leave for this little Christmas day we're gonna have. Yesterday, I attempted to go Black Friday shopping, and the mall that I went to honestly wasn't even that packed, which I was very surprised about, but also the deals weren't even that good, at least in the stores I was going to, and I was kind of upset about it. I feel like Black Friday used to be so different than how it is now. I feel like a lot of people do just buy things online now, at least where I go to the mall, and I was honestly expecting it to be a lot worse. Me and my friend Haley went and I don't know there just like wasn't a lot of people there and then also we went to Best Buy and Best Buy did have more people but we specifically went to look at cameras because my friend wanted to get a camera and also I wanted to get a new Canon G7X because mine literally broke in half. Don't even ask me how that happens. I couldn't tell you. The viewfinder literally just detached from the camera and is in half but we we're looking at deals for cameras to see which would be the best one for what she wanted to do and I wanted to see if the Canon G7X had any deals and literally I saw like no cameras that were on sale and it was really weird. I don't know if it was more TVs or what it was but I was kind of disappointed. I still bought some things like Christmas gifts and everything which I will show you guys in a different video because I don't want to spoil it but I just feel like those aren't the sales that I'm used to and usually there's a lot more people out and actually the one store I did find pretty good deals in was Target and they had 30% off and there's an Ulta in my Target so I got some things from Ulta as well but other than that I didn't really see many deals. I went into Lululemon and literally nothing was on sale but as I told you guys we are going to go get a cute little Christmas tree for my apartment. I'm really excited because I never had a real one. My parents always just got a fake one and I love the smell of the real trees so I think it's going to be so nice. My boyfriend and his family are going to help me get it into my apartment and then my boyfriend's going to help me string the tree with lights and I just think it's gonna look really pretty. I've actually never even been to a Christmas tree farm so this should be fun. Even though where we're going is really close to where my boyfriend lives, it's not really a farm. I do want to go to a real Christmas tree farm though. It's already like one o'clock and having a very late start to the day. Also, I have a giveaway coming soon for you guys that I think you guys are going to really like. I'm not going to explain what it is yet, but I just hit 35,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is amazing. I wanted to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and it doesn't go unnoticed and I love every single one of you and I'm 
so thankful for you. And I wanted to do a little something to give back. So I got a few things that I'm going to give away in a video coming soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. I was going to do it in this vlog, but I don't have all the stuff yet. I'm still waiting for a few things to come in the mail. So I figured I would just wait a few more vlogs just so I have everything to show you guys at once. But I think you guys are going to really like it. Thank you guys again so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm happy that we can like live out this dream together. I'm trying to do my makeup as fast as possible because I want to go get coffee really quick for me and my boyfriend and I don't know if I'm gonna have time so I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. The only good thing is I don't have to do my hair I just have to take it out of the braids which is a reason why I like doing my hair like this because it makes it so easy when I have to be in a rush the next day and it always looks really good and that is just a win. I've been trying to get a little better with the products I put on my lips because I want them to look more shiny. I feel like they always look very chapped and I really don't like it and I usually use this from Tarte which I love but I wanted to have something a little shiny to go over it so I put Vaseline on my lips so hopefully that works. I'm gonna quickly throw on an outfit and then I think we're gonna get coffee and then we'll go to the farm. Look out your window baby where the snow is falling down There's a thick white blanket covering all of this town We just got back to Chad's house. It was a very stressful couple hours to say the least. We ended up going to get the tree and pick it out at like two o'clock. And then we didn't leave there until I wanna say like 3.15. We came back to Chad's house. We helped his parents put everything inside. And then we took Chad's dad's pickup truck to my apartment. When we got to my apartment, it was around, I wanna say like four o'clock. It took me and Chad around two and a half hours to get this tree in the stand. It just kept falling over. There was pines everywhere. And as you guys know, all of my furniture is white. There was pine needles and dirt everywhere. So I was just very stressed out and I tried to protect the carpet, but like it was really hard to in the moment and the tree would not stay up. I think it's because we got the wrong tree stand, but when we were there, we did get the right one. So we were very confused on why it wasn't working. Chad ended up getting it to work, but we don't know if it's gonna hold. So for now we watered it a lot and we did everything we were supposed to do. We were watching YouTube videos. We were calling people asking like what we're doing wrong. Turns out we were doing nothing wrong. I think the tree sand just might be broken. Chad got it to work. He had to like make his own little way of getting the tree to stand, but it works. So very thankful for that. It smells so good in my apartment. It smells exactly like Christmas and I'm so thankful for that. That probably took around like two and a half hours and then we spent like 30 minutes cleaning up everything in my apartment. And then we came back to Chad's house and had dinner. I had chicken marsala and it was really good. Right now, I just need to relax for a little bit because I'm still so stressed out. It wasn't supposed to be something that was stressful but there was so much dirt on the floor and it was all right next to my white furniture so I was like freaking out because I didn't want anything to get stained and then the tree wouldn't stand up so I was like oh my gosh what are we gonna do with this tree we have to get it to work and there was like no way to get it to work for two hours so it was just very stressful thankfully everything worked out a huge thank you to Chad and his parents but I think right now I'm just going to relax for a little bit and watch an episode of Gossip Girl I'm gonna watch the Christmas special because I just need something that will calm me down I have my Uggs on right now and and I put little bows on the back of them and I'm obsessed. Look at how cute this little bow looks. I think it looks so pretty. These are the black mini Uggs and then I just have this like velvet ribbon that I got from Michael's which is a craft store where I live and I think it's so, so cute. It is the next day and the tree is still standing. Thank gosh, it looks pretty good. And I just put these little ribbons up on my cabinet. I have to put another bow, but I think that looks so cute. And now Madison is over and we're gonna make some breakfast even though it's like almost 1 p.m. Madison is making mimosas and bacon. I just made pancake mix. It smells really good, or this is waffles, I lied, but you can make both with it. And we're gonna have some mimosas and bacon. Yes, Madison is going to make bacon. Mimosa. I have this little waffle maker and it is a Christmas tree, so we're gonna make them in here. I've made these before in my vlogs and I'm obsessed with them. breakfast the bacon is a little too burnt we did our best it is a few days 
days later now we took the net off the tree yesterday and my boyfriend just lit the tree and it looks really good he's going to put the star up soon i stopped at michael's yesterday which is a craft store and i picked up some really cute ornaments so i got this little santa i got this elf boot with little presents which i thought was so cute i got a snowman a house which this one is really pretty however i will say that they're all very sparkly i got ballet slippers please look at this this reminds me of like the nutcracker which is why i got this and then i got one pink little acorn so those are the main statements of the tree and i'm going to add on every single year but for my other christmas ornaments i have gold little christmas balls and then i have pink lollipops which are going to look really cute and also some green christmas balls as well so i'm going to put that up later i also just prepped my gingerbread dough so we have a lot to do today's actually my brother's birthday so we're going to stop at my house before we do all of this but i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update because it's looking very pretty in here this is the star that i got i got this from at home and i think it's so pretty and matches the theme Chad just finished doing the tree. It looks really good. We're gonna go to my parents' house now for my brother's birthday. And when we get back, we're gonna put ornaments on it. I just got home from my family's house. It was really nice to see my brother and all my family. And we had some Japanese food. It was so good. And then I made my brother a peppermint chocolate loaf cake from Trader Joe's. And my mom made brownies and it was really good. Now I'm going to make my gingerbread cookies and set up my tree. I am really, really excited to do this because it looks so pretty, especially at night. all set up it looks so good i'm actually by my boyfriend's house right now because his brother's birthday is tomorrow and we are going to a play on broadway on saturday stay tuned for that but i'm so excited and we are just getting ready and stuff like that so i'm here but my tree looks great it is standing it looks beautiful and i got some more ornaments so that's good i'm going to end this vlog here because i'm starting a new new york city christmas vlog starting tomorrow so it's gonna be really fun thank you guys for watching if you stayed up until this point of the video comment a Christmas tree emoji because I want to see who stayed up until this point of vlogmas and let me know if you're excited about vlogmas because I know I am. I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye!